on today's episode of the North American Journeyman. Injuries strike again as our right back, backup right back, has broken his ankle so he's been recalled from his loan. Some other players are coming back in, but we are trying to seal up our Caribbean Cup semifinal bid, and the playoffs start today as well. We have youth intake. It's crap. They're all crap. Contreras is crap. Contreras is crap. And those are the only two I'm really considering. This guy's crap. So, I don't know, maybe he's semi-decent, I suppose. I mean, like, this is what we're working with right now. So, anyways, um, yeah, we lost our backup right back. Gonzalez is back. I'm going to start training him as a right back because I think he could do a job. And we have enough players that can play in the right wing position. Cords is back. So he's good. but And he can only play in this competition, but he's not really back. He's just back today. So maybe he can play a couple minutes. But we're playing Port of Spain. The group looks like this. Where we're set, pretty much. I mean, if we draw, that puts us on seven. And then Mount Pleasant wins, say? They'd be on four. So we just need a draw. We played Dun Behold in the last game. It'd be nice to finish first. Because the other group looks like this. So we could potentially play somebody not great. Like this. Random Cuba team that won. Or I think they made it to the final of the Caribbean Shield. Or maybe this Trinidad team. I like to avoid the two Jamaican teams, but if we can keep Mount Pleasant out, which it looks like we're going to be able to do, we just need one point, pretty much, from our next two games. Then we'd be in a pretty nice little position. This is the team we're going with. Brian Thompson's tired, but who else am I going to bring in? Like, maybe David Gonzalez late. Natalucci's going to have to play a bunch. He's already... One yellow card away from suspension, so that's annoying. Center back situation I'm not too happy about. Bulashov suspended for this one. A little old Mina down there is just watching the games. This one's away, so we're in Trinidad. I'm pretty sure it's Trinidad. It's Port of Spain, so that's got to be Trinidad. I mean, not of the Trinidad and Tobago. The Trinidad Island, not the Tobago Island. I don't think there's much going on on the Tobago Island. I haven't been there, so I couldn't speak for sure. It's like they're stealing our system, but we've changed. We're on to the new thing. We're playing in a big old stadium, though. Probably their national team stadium. ACPOS. Peace of Spain. Port of Spain. Let's see what we can do here. They cross it in. Natalucci, not a great header way. Thompson get there. He can't. Eastman takes a shot. Looks like he missed it. Early attack from the Port of Spain. Rocking the purple kits. I like it. Tons of space, though, for us to build here. Natalucci down the right wing. Plays Thompson forward. Up to Zamudio, his header's down, but it's a little bit wide. Yeah, Mount Pleasant and Seabow playing each other. They just draw. They draw, we draw, everybody's happy. I think we can beat these guys, though. We're, we're pretty good. I mean, we're struggling a little bit in some positions, but we're a pretty well-rounded team. Montenegro plays Barnett over the top, which is always a good sign. Except for that he just skied it over the net. Looks like Pantoho was losing to that. What was it Cuban? A Cuban team? Maybe they're actually good. Montenegro, can he play the ball over the top? Plays Zamudio to the left instead. Crossed in. Their goalkeeper doesn't come to it. Atardo only scored one goal so far this season. 
He had a few more last year, but I'll take that as a first goal. Finally getting on the score sheet. I've played him all around. Center midfielder, right mid. Now he's playing the number 10. And you just get out of my way. Peters actually dies down. Doing the splits to the right spot, but that puts us at the top of the table. Foul. But goes to Atardo, and he just turns and flicks it into the net. 2 nothing. Good stuff here. Dolphins of the East just cruising. We're just cruising. Good tackle. We look dominant. I think we're going to win this competition. As of right now, it looks like we're by far the best team. Based on what I've seen. Header, underside of the bar, can we get back to it? It's still up for grabs. We can still maybe work something here, but chance kind of goes begging. Crossed to Montenegro, Barnett with the turn. It's not quick enough, he loses it. Yeah, Pantoja's losing to Ciego de Avila, or Avila. Avila, I think is how you say it, actually. Takes me a couple tries, and then I work it. Oh, that's just so easy. Barnett using the body. He's got 29 goals this year. He's looking good. I think he's going to get snatched up. Hopefully not before we accomplish what we set out to accomplish here. Look at this. Look at this body positioning and turn from Barnett. He's like, I know where to go. Puts the, bo puts the elbow up. Just says, stay away from me. I'm putting this one away. Look how pretty this is. Don't go near me. Boom. Right in his face. Not called for the foul. Yeah, Portmore I don't want to play, though. They're beating TLH Rangers. Mount Pleasant's beating Seabow. So their course is about run. And we're cruising here, so I think we're going to be qualified after this game. Natalucci crosses in. Blocked. They're throwing people number four numbers forward, but they're not looking for the ball. Oh, I really don't want Mount Pleasant to get through. Because then we'd end up playing them in the final. If we make it to the final. But I think they already lost to Dunbeholden. Or are they playing them today? We'll have to look again. That's a nicely worked goal. For Port of Spain, they claw one back. It's 3-1. to one. That was a nice pass. No, they're playing Seabow. Dunbeholden is not playing anybody. They're just waiting for us. That's right, we had the game in hand. Which is why we might go 3-for-3 three three here. Got to finish him out, though. Barnett decides to play it back. His decision-making is just way faster than everybody else. All the other guys kind of like dribbled around a bit or whatever, but he just like, oh, look at that shot from Montenegro. Since he's moved to Mazala, he's been dynamite in that position. Really good shot. We're not going to watch it because this episode is going to go on forever. With all these highlights flying in left and right. I mean, we're cruising. Take a sip of water here. Valencia. Montenegro. Barnett's there. That's a header in for Barnett. His 30th. 3-0. David Barnett. Giving him one of these. Giving him one of these. 5-1. It was never in doubt. It was never in doubt. Pantoja, they're basically qualified, though. That's good stuff. Very happy. Let's make some subs. I'm actually going to rest Natalucci. Thompson actually really needs it, though. And Gonzalez can come back in, finally. He can play 45 minutes. We'll wait. We'll wait 5-10 minutes, and then we'll bring in the subs.
but the Caribbean Cup is going pretty well. We've made a nice little team here. It's too bad Mina's not on the field. That's the one downside. All right, Gonzalez, I'll get Brink Cords in real late. He's been struggling on injury. Um, if you had three goals, I'd take him out. Probably Ibarra. And then Romero needs more game time, too. For Turchi. Since Romero's coming back from injury. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. We might have a... Something to look forward to. Barnett almost gets the header for the Hattie. Portmore's running away from TLH Rangers. I need to remember to save the game after this. Because I haven't saved this save in quite a while, and I don't have automatic saves on. Living dangerously over here. Watch the file get corrupted after this game. Please don't happen. 5-1. We're cruising. Had her up. Oh, they went. Prowl comes down with it somehow. Real good shot. Low down on Slayton, but it's just wide. Come on, Seabow. Put Mount Pleasant out of their misery. Just do it. Just get the goal back. You're at home. You're gearing up for the playoffs. Then they do it. Oliveira on the penalty. That guarantees qualification and guarantees that Dunbo Holden is going to get through as well. So we just need to make sure that we draw against Dunbo Holden at least to finish first. Off the crossbar, goalkeeper's gone, but we couldn't win the header. Let's bring some subs on. Zamudio. I mean, I guess Cords can, can come in over there. Yeah, let's see Cords for his first game. He's pretty good. Yeah, he's a winger. I want to play him as that number 10 spot once he gets in here, but he's a winger. And... I don't know, Ramos? Nah. I think we'll bring Kiati on, like, real late. Last... Last 5-10 minutes, 5 minutes and extra time, something like that. Give... Barnett the chance for the hat trick. But we're going to take a look at Cords. Gonzalez. Nobody wants that one. Benny doesn't get to it. He borrows there. He does win it. And now Montenegro takes a shot. It wasn't a good one. Come on, Seabow, hang on to it. I don't want Mount Pleasant getting through. So we can praise the boys since we're dominating. Well, they scored on their only shot on target, which is a bit annoying. All right, Barnett, we're going to keep you well rested. Give Chiati the chance. Or Chiati. I haven't decided how to say his name. I think I like Kiati better. Chords, nope. Doesn't find anybody. It was a good idea. We had lots of numbers in the box there, but they they blocked the cross. Chords, what can he do? Atardo, he's going to shoot this, isn't he? Nope, plays Natalucci, who loses it. And now Porta Spain is onto something here. This winger's wide open, but Ibarra should win that. He doesn't. Tries a weird tackle between his legs. Clayne takes a shot straight at Slayton. No issues there. You'd be surprised if this is actually key highlights. That's just how Dominican rolls. Everything is a key highlight. Lots of goals, lots of highlights. Or is that just people's experience with FM in general? Let me know. It's just lots of goals, lots of highlights. Kiati can't score. Ibarra, though, takes shot. Peters was back on his line, and the shot's over the bar anyways. 
Come on, Seabow, hang on. Seabow winning now. Seabow with the late push to make it. I don't know if they beat. They could actually make it to the next round, Seabow could. It, it, it's head-to-head, -head, I'm pretty sure. So if they beat that other team, uh, Dunbeholden, then they would... And we beat Dunbeholden, then they win their next game, so they'll level on points, then they would get through. Blah, 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 blah. That one's off the crossbar. Nice effort. 5-1, this one's going to end up. You don't need to show the rest of the highlight. We get it. We won. That's a that's a foul. Seabow beats Mount Pleasant. We dominate the game. 4.59 XG. Blew him away. Otardo, delighted. Montenegro, delighted. Hands are outstretched. Let's go. Pantoja pulls one back late, but they can't get the win. TLH Rangers goes down. We qualify for the knockouts. So we'll skip ahead. We're playing in the playoffs. We got Atleti, Atleti Vega Real in just a couple days. So we'll be, actually, I'll just keep, we'll be right back. Okay, so we have both qualified. Delphines and Dunbeholden. So Dunbeholden must have got the win over Seabow. They did. They beat him 1 0. So Seabow does a good favor for us, knocking out Mount Pleasant. We played Dunbeholden. Top choice plays the number two team, which could be anybody really. Ciego de Alvila, Alvila plays TLH Rangers. And Portmore plays. Harborview. So Harborview's out. Portmore can get through. Portmore lost to um, Pantoja, and they beat both of Avila and TLH Rangers. So if Portmore wins, they're through. They're the better team than Harborview. They'll probably get through. So Honestly, first or second, it's probably not going to matter. I would like to see, because Ciego de Avila just plays TLH Rangers. If they just beat TLH Rangers, they would have more points than Portmore. No, they wouldn't. Why are they ahead of them in the table here, then? Am I wrong? Is it not goal difference? It is just goal difference. Interesting. Okay. I thought it was head-to-head. -head, but they're also tied on goal difference. What was the third one? Goals scored? So they have more goals scored, I suppose? All right, head-to-head -head doesn't matter too much. That's okay. Anyways, we are on to the playoffs. We're playing Vega Real. We've owned them. They're not good. I think we're going to rest some players a little bit. We do need to make sure we get through this round to guarantee qualification for the... Um, for the Caribbean Cup next year. Cords can't play. Becerra's still out. He's back tomorrow, though. Oh, he passed his fitness test. Interesting. Well, Miller's not going to play. Miller's actually the one who's on loan from Jamaica, from Mount Pleasant. I just got an email saying that their coach is not happy with me because of how little he's played. He's just not good. Um, Chavez kind of just lost his spot, honestly. Slayton has been a bit of a beast. Chavez has a bigger upside. But look, like consistency, big matches... Aerial reach. He fits in well. He's just the number one guy. Chavez is just, he's just got a couple holes in his game. First touch and passing is poor. I play a sweeper keeper defend, so. But uh, Bulashov can come back in. He'll just play. Zamudio can be on the bench, though, for one of our center backs. I think we start Romero. And honestly, Coronado's been one of the better center backs. Reyes hasn't been great. We're going to play Coronado and Romero. Natalucci basically has to play. 
Thompson's dead tired, but one David Gonzalez can only play half a match again. Matardo's going to start in the number 10 spot. And that's, I think that's going to do it for now. That's going to be our team. Three weeks in Pines. Mina's dead. Forever. Let's get her done. Let's go beat. It's a huge match. Make the fans happy or whatever I just said. Something along those lines. We're away in the first leg. Confidence, belief is all important. At Letty Vega Real, they've never really given us an issue. Got the scores over there so we can just leave it as is. Looking for a good performance here. I'd like to not play Barnett this whole game, ideally. And I need to give Thompson some rest. Obviously, Atardo can shift over to the right, too. We can bring in Becerra as the number 10. But I don't want to rush him back and re-aggravate his injury, too. So, But in this game, you're just going to get injuries. Like they're, It's unavoidable. It doesn't matter if they're fully fit. It doesn't matter if they're coming back from injury. Maybe it's slightly more likely for him to get an injury, but they just get injured all the time. You just got to deal with it. Montenegro, confidence is just flowing through his veins. We don't look too good on the ball, but we're dominating possession. Pantoja is playing Seabow, obviously, in the other leg, in the other semifinal. Let's see if we can win back-to-back -back leagues, up our reputation a little bit. Because coaching badges isn't doing it. They play the ball over the top. Coronado should get there. Is he going to be smart about it? Nope. Gomez off the inside of the post. Stays out. Jimenez is there. Good tackle. Iffy tackle. I don't think that one... I think that one was on Thompson. Or did he try to pass it to Martinez? But that was a bit dangerous. They only get 0.14 XG for that. It's kind of surprising. <laughs> Defensive free kick. Just giving a little hip stretch, a little hip flexor. Jimenez, Gomez, can he make the turn? He can make the pass. Rousel, excuse me, Russell, misses the shot. They've had the better chances, really. Has Atletico Vega Real. Had her down. Martinez should pick this up. Montenegro, what can we build here? They've kind of prevented us from getting down the field a little bit. Montenegro, Barnett's there. He's offside. Needed to just take one step back. Disallow goal. Need a, little, need a little shifty shift here. Here we go. What I haven't seen much of in this league is red cards. Bulashov, Montenegro though. That should be a goal. Jimenez gets across. He knew where Barnett was going to try and go. Bulashov takes it on towards goal. Looks like it hit the bar. We're struggling to score here in the playoffs. This is the pressure getting to us. Work the ball in the box. A Bulashov free kick. That one looked pretty good. He tried to go far post there. We will work the ball in the box. We should do that. Barnett's on a 6.4. Every once in a while, he chalks up a game. I mean, a, a bad game for Barnett is one where he doesn't score two goals. So, Bulashov. Apparently didn't do anything interesting with it. Tardo, back to Thompson, who's been kind of absent in the last couple games. Interesting cross in, but it's to Abulashov, who's not really good in the air. Romero, Martinez, Barnett, play him in. Atardo, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, takes the shot, scores the goal. Dolphins of the East, up one nothing. There we go. I like it. 
I like winning games and winning competitions. Seabell, one nothing lead on Pantoja. Looks like we're going to maybe not take it to the half. Maybe one more little chance here. Is it going to go our way? Barnett decided not to chase that one. He's on a 7.1 with a little assist. Take it down on your feet. Good for Romero. Let's see if we can build here. It's been good having a number 10 because we can build against teams that play like this. Whereas before, we were just trying to play over the top or play out wide wing all the time. It's getting a little bit stale. This should be us, Valencia. It is. Not make a mistake out of the back here. We're playing pretty well composure-wise. That is right as I say that. Gomez snags it, tries a shot, but it's not gonna go anywhere. All right, we've been caught out a couple times. Natalucci's on a yellow. I think that means he's out for the next game. Which sucks. Because I don't have another right back. And I need him rested too. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we can bring somebody in on a free. There actually is an American player I was looking at bringing in. But I don't think I can get him anytime soon. I need to take Thompson off. They, he flaps out. A Bulashov's shot hits the crossbar. All right, Gonzalez, please don't get injured. He's going to learn the right back position. Eventually, we're going to start playing a bunch of friendlies once. Because the Caribbean Cup ties and legs are like spaced out quite a bit. So we'll have a couple months where we're just playing friendlies. So we can get Gonzalez playing that right wing back position. Because he's not great defensively. But then again, neither is Natalucci. Natalucci is like a right winger. We just play him as a right back. Complete wing back on attack. So... So Gonzalez can for sure play that position. And that would... But then we don't really... We do have a right wing back. Gomez is offside. He's got to be. He was on, but his header wasn't great. Who else needs a rest? We want to see some guys. Becerra's injured. Uh, might be a really, really, really late sub for Becerra. Maybe Ibarra. Montenegro's tired. I think we bring Ibarra in for Montenegro. Maybe swap these two. It's only one nil. We get a whole we get another leg at home, so they've had a couple chances. We've looked a little iffy playing out of the back. Slayton doesn't look too confident right now. Or maybe that was confidence, just hanging on to it. Barnett, can he cut inside? Or find somebody inside. There's numbers. It's Montenegro for two. Two nil right as we take Montenegro off. Good goal. Take a seat. Nice job. There, I'm going crazy on the sidelines. You see, I'm crazier than I normally go. Just sitting here. Come on. Let's go. It's at Lady Vega Real. We've never dropped points to them, I don't think. Maybe we drew once. Yeah, Natalucci's dead. I know. Here's what we're going to do. Late. I'm talking about like 80th minute. Jimenez, make that tackle Coronado. Nice. He's complacent. That's not what I like to see. Ball over the top. Abulashov. He's a good dribbler, but he has a heavy touch on that one. Martinez steals it. Can he play in Barnett? He can. It's three. We're going to do it now. Natalucci. Oh, Ramos can play this side, can he? Interesting. Good. Actually, let's take a look at that. He can? He has no right foot. Anyways, the plan is for Gonzalez to learn this position. So Atardo can play over here. And Becerra needs to get a little bit fit. He's still orange injured, but he passed his fitness test for 45 minutes. So... I'm going to stretch the limit here. We're going to get Gonzalez semi-comfortable with the right back position because he's going to have to play that in the second leg, I think. 
So here's your chance to learn the position. And this has been kind of a long episode. Two two games seems kind of long to me. But this is just because there's so many highlights. That's not good. Gomez is through. Off the post. Who's injured? Somebody's injured. Was it Martinez? I saw an orange. Oh, no, it's just Becerra because I brought him on. Duh. Duh. Two to one in the other game. Seabell leading Pantoja. Press Jimenez. Finish it out. Praise the boys. And that's pretty good for chopping and changing the team a little bit. They created a few opportunities. But Barnett came through, came good again. Huge, huge moment. That's good. So, Seabow looks like the team. Next up, though, we'll play Dunbeholden to determine if we win the group. And at Lady Vega Rail on the second leg to see if we make the final. That's it for this one. Thanks again for hanging out. Thanks for all the support. Thanks for the likes, comments, follows to the Twitch channel and all that kind of stuff. You guys are awesome. We'll see you on the beach. Catch you next time. Adios.